Today on your Saab 93, rear spring replacement. A very common issue here in the UK on all sorts of cars. Saabs are no exception. First thing, jack the car up, support it on axle stands, chock one of the front wheels and remove the wheels. With the car safely in the air and the wheel removed, use an E14 socket or an 11 millimeter ring spanner and remove the bolt that holds the top end of the rear anti-roll bar drop link. With an 18 millimeter socket on the nut and an E18 socket on the head of the bolt, undo the nut and bolt that hold the lower arm to the hub, having a jack ready to slowly release the uh, arm downwards. With your jack just taking the weight of the arm on the outer end, and the nut removed from the other end of this bolt, I actually found it easier to withdraw the bolt by undoing it. And the hub will release from the arm easily. Using your jack, gently let the arm down until the spring is at its full extension. Then let the jack down about another inch or so. 30 millimeters. Push the arm down by hand push the arm down by hand and you can withdraw the spring. This spring had broken at the bottom end when the, just the final loop was left which I needed to pull off the uh, bump stop. While you're at it here replace the bump stop. Now you will need to know whether your car has standard or sport suspension because the spring lengths are different. I would suggest using the Saab site and inputting your VIN number and you'll be able to find out what sort of suspension you've got. I'll link to the Saab site down in the description but here's a quick flick through of how you put your VIN number in and how to find out which suspension you've got. <laughs> Fit the bump stop to the new spring and with the bump stop fitted to the bottom end of the new spring the new spring can go back in exactly the same way it came out and now use your jack to lift the arm back into place against the uh, spring pressure Tap it lightly until the uh, holes line up. Knock the bolt through. Put the nut back on the other end. And don't forget to return the bolt back into the upper end of the anti-roll bar drop link. And all that remains now is to put the wheels back on and drop the car back down to the ground. If you got value from this video, please Give it a like down by the title, consider subscribing and I will see you next time.